While applying to ESMT, I learned about the Responsible Leader Fellowship Program. It's a four to six month opportunity that students can apply and work for a social impact organization pro bono. And I felt like this was really important before entering back into the workforce. My name is Teresa Rodriguez. I was born and raised on Long Island outside of New York City, and I did the full-time MBA program here at ESMT. So I've always been fascinated with cities, so I studied urban planning at San Diego State, which led me to work in, as a pre-construction manager in construction and real estate development between Los Angeles and New York. Back in August, I created a inspiration board, as you would call it, of what I wanted my RLF project to look like. I wanted to work in urban development, which aligned with my past background. I wanted to work in female empowerment. I wanted to find something focused on the urban poor, affordable housing, and if I was able to, something with nature and a beach nearby. So first, you have to find an organization, which it would be hard for some to believe because you are doing it pro bono, but for some organizations, it sounds almost too good to be true. And so you have to meet with the organization and determine a scope that aligns with something that's social impact and something ultimately that you want to do and that you're passionate about and want to spend four to six months doing. And then ESMT supports you with a living stipend so that you can have housing, food, and anything you can do with this living stipend. Slum Dollars International is really a beast of an organization because they work in so many different countries, but basically they pave space for the urban poor to have a voice in global advocacy. After arriving, my scope that um, we predetermined was pretty loose, but one of the main things was working with their Cape Town local um, youth change makers team and they had multiple projects that they wanted to work on, so we really narrowed it down to one that I would be able to focus on for the four months, and this was a community garden project. They wanted to transform a dumping site into a beautiful destination for residents to come and learn and share and come together. This optional program is, don't undervalue what it can do for your resume. I mean, having the social impact, working in a developing country, um, helping build a business and helping an organization that maybe doesn't have the resources to have a business perspective. This shows so much while you're interviewing for your post MBA job and employers really look at it with a smile on their face knowing that they're having someone who cares and not just someone who's focused on perhaps a salary, benefits or employment. Um, taking the chance and moving to Berlin during a pandemic, working with such an amazing diverse student body, um, getting to have an in-person graduation and then completing RLF and now starting a new job. I just felt like RLF was the perfect completion of my full-time MBA experience.